Welcome back to another video and I just want to say thank you to all of you for all the amazing support lately. In this video I'll show you three weapons that could make your zombie experience much easier. So let's try and glitch this one up to 103 likes to help my channel grow and many watch but forget to subscribe so join the gut crew and smash that subscribe button for me. The instant loot glitch is still working and to do it you will need to head to this location on the map with a pack a punch scorcher and the blood burner key. Use the thrust ability three times while pushing into this lamp and it will glitch you through the ceiling. Then walk over to the vault. Now use the blood burner key and the bike will spawn inside the vault, then get on the bike and loot the vault, but just watch out for the mimic. The loot inside here is always random, but you can often find valuable items making this glitch worth it if you're nearby. Once the vault has been looted, you can open the door and drive the bike out if you want to keep using it. Be sure to check out the sponsor of today's video, MitchCactus.com. They can provide assistance to you if you need any help unlocking the nuke skin, mastery camos, or even zombie schematics. They are safe and reliable and have been providing these services for many years. Their service works on all systems and with over 10,000 positive reviews on Trustpilot, you won't find a better deal anywhere else. So check the link in the description and use the code PEXI for 5% off. One of my favorite weapons for zombies right now is the FJX submachine gun. This can be unlocked in the battle pass and you can join our discord in the description if you need someone to drop it for you in zombies. The only attachment that is really required is the extended mag since this weapon spits out bullets very quickly. And the mags of holding will turn this weapon into one of the best shredders in the game. Inside the Elder Dark Aether I had no problem at all completing all three contracts, but keep in mind this weapon is for crowd control and is not great at taking out the mega abomination. You won't need to upgrade it very much to handle the tier 2 zombies, but try and make sure it's fully upgraded if you plan on going into the dark ether with it. If you use a lot of assault rifles or battle rifles, then put the Jack Lim Ripper under barrel onto your gun, and this will turn it into a devastating weapon. Even fully upgraded, this thing is not very good at taking down the Mega Abomination solo, but if you had a full squad using the Ripper, you could take it down very fast. Even in tier 3 and the dark ether, this underbarrel instantly shreds any zombie it touches, and can also take out the low level bosses very quickly. I don't normally use sniper rifles in zombies, but the more sniper with the aftermarket parts equipped is actually a very good gun to use for crowd control. It will need to be pack a punched and you'll also want the PhD flopper perk since it will cause damage to you just like the RGL if you fire it too close to your feet. It's a terrible weapon for taking out bosses, and even once it's been upgraded to max, it's still terrible at boss fights. The one place it does shine is when you use it to kill hordes of zombies. Even inside the Dark Aether, this gun can hold its own against large groups of zombies. The trick is to spam the trigger button near the feet of the zombies to knock them over, and then keep spamming the trigger to kill them. The mags of holding is required to make this weapon efficient, and you can check out the video in the description showing you how you can easily obtain the mags of holding without needing the schematic unlocked. Let me know in the comments which weapon is your favorite choice when it comes to killing zombies, and if you made it this far, then say the secret word ba-boom in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!